So maybe maybe our standards are, are too high at this point. If that's what we expect from every boss in the Soul Series. Now hear the water. Splish splash. The aesthetic in the fishing hammer is just fantastic. I guess I don't really imagine that very often. They they really nailed a very very unique feel on the, the whole Lovecraftian aesthetic. Feel. It's beautiful. And it's not really something you see anywhere. So. It's also unique and definitely gorgeous. Very gray or very washed out, ironically, but I think that's the whole point. I can have a, a place filled with water and not be washed out. And of course, the at least my favorite art style is uh, the Final Fantasy XII, Final Fantasy Tactics Vagrant Story, Evilise art style. Which is all the same team did all three of those games. Uh, tactics is undoubtedly the best tactics game of all time. Bigger Story is the best game ever. And Final Fantasy XII is just a really good game. It's not not quite as good as the other two. It's still pretty good. Uh, anything set in Evil is automatically amazing. Let's see if we can get this. Nah. Oh! We did get it. We got it on a walk away this time. It's better if you do it while you're standing still. Directly in front of where the shadows dissipate. That's the the most swag. Better than I don't like when it's on accident. Kind of on accident. I have a general idea of where they're going to stop. Looks like my propen propensity for conversation has faded once more to nothingness, so apologies if you want me to speak in great volumes, but today it's just gameplay. Gameplay and random musings. I was gonna take off the doll's armor, and we will certainly have trouble with him, but I guess we can try to do it in this whole area with him, you know. Doll's armor doesn't get much love, because it sucks so bad. I suppose I haven't looked at my notebook today, so why not? 137. 
134. Patches actually has the highest now. I don't remember which one used to have the highest. I'd have to go back and look. Totally gonna do that. Definitely worth my time. There's a vision of how to get Recurio if I had two of those guys at once. Sounds fun. <laughs> I forgot. Uh, my pacing is just slightly different today, so I wasn't immediately ready to sprint past everything. Maybe if I was speaking more, it would have occurred to me. Yeah, I'm fine. Just in time. Uh... We might as well deal with some of the trash mobs here. But at this point, we should probably just run. Maybe figure out which guys are soldiers. Or not. It's not, not the big area to get a level to go. We already farmed roughly the same amount of souls for 100k. I can't tell their their faces are obscured. So. Could be the big guys too. It could be anyone else. It's not. Stream in about two hours and twenty minutes. So if Orphan takes a half hour like usual, then we should do just fine as far as streaming goes. Probably don't need to actually go pick up the Rakuya. I think so. This is all the stuff I can do today. But it should be okay. Probably be okay. I didn't realize these guys were patrolling toward the center of the stairs. Pretty much always do this area patiently. But not today. Stuck on that rock killed us. That wasn't there, we'd be fine. Just gotta make it to the hut. Um, I'll probably just edit out after the first death. Let would make that one video. That would be a relatively short video, but it won't. Maybe first two deaths. And then. The rest will just be starting from the lantern up here.
It might also be used to have more stamina. Because usually I have the 50% stamina right now. But since I was using a boss specific build. Not today. Curious if we could do the dialogue simultaneously, that would be amazing. I'm afraid I've made a botch of things. Oh, I can hear the bell now. The beast hide assassin. He's after me. Again. And again. It never ends. <sighs> Please. I need you to do something. This village is the true secret. A testament to the old sins. It feeds this hunter's nightmare. Please. Bring to an end the horror. So our forefathers sin. Hunters cannot bear their weight forever. Unfair. Just as unfair. Oh. Alrighty. Gonna deal with Bell Guy. Braidor, I remember it pretty quick this time. The worshiper attack pattern down. Good old Lord's the Fawn. They stole their ideas. Well, actually, the boss phase thing is probably at least partially inspired by Lord's the Fawn, though Dark Souls had done it before. They didn't do it for every single boss. So they did at least pay attention to their competitors, even if their competitors didn't. I have much chance of actually competing.
I've never ever been hit by those before. Also, apparently, I can mash out of it. I'm not feeling killing the shell guys today for a reason. Fair enough. Could you have a pretty efficient weapon for fighting that guy? So it's so if we kill Orphan in fewer than like three attempts, three or fewer attempts, that's the, then I'll go get the Rakuya. But if not, we'll just have to imagine that we did. Maybe I will at the start of the next stream or something. Otherwise, just for funsies. But we gotta go do setup. Uh, <sighs> so Rikuyo is one of the weapons that can probably do alright in the second phase, but Raider Palash is still probably better anyway. <laughs> the problem is the stamina run out, so... Like, Rikuyo can get off like 16 or 20 attacks. Or, or I mean, Raider Palash can. But Rikuyo only gets 7. So even if the 7 do as much as like 12 Raider attacks, you're still missing ooh, about 40% of your damage output, which is not good. So we'll probably just stick with Raider. <laughs> 